is going on YouTube? It is your boy, that Captain Panda, and I have a question for y'all. Do y'all like Pokemon? Yeah? Y'all like Pokemon? Now I have another question for y'all. Do y'all like shiny Pokemon? Yeah, shiny Pokemon! Uh, yeah. In today's video, we are going to be shiny hunting some Pokemon. But not just any Pokemon. I'm going to be shiny hunting every single dragon type Pokemon in the game. That's from like Garchomp to Haxorus and all that stuff. I saw Eternal Radiant do something like this a while ago where he caught where he caught all the dragon type po shiny. He caught every single dragon type shiny. But I'm gonna do mine a bit a little bit different. He caught like the whole like evolution line and all that stuff. I'm not I'm not doing that. That's that's too much for me. So, um, if, so if I if I catch a Gibble, that Gibble's gonna count for Gabite and Garchomp. If I get an Axew, that Axew's gonna count as uh, Haxorus and Fracture and Haxorus and so on and so forth. And um, <laughs> the little I love the little I love the little animations. You like like huh? Oh. You're like whoa! Like what? And you're like what? And you're like yeah, I gotta catch them all. <laughs> uh, but yeah. We're going to be shiny hunting every single dragon type Pokemon today. And I really hope y'all enjoy today's video. And if y'all do enjoy today's video, be sure to hit that like button down below. And while you're down there, hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you can get notified next time I upload. Now, if y'all are ready, we're going to go hunt some shinies. So I will see y'all in the shiny hunt. So the first shiny I decided to go for was Cyclazar. I don't know why I picked Cyclazar. He just randomly popped up in my head. I'm like, you know what? Let's go shiny hunt Cyclazar. <laughs> so I made my sandwich and the hunt began. Shiny Cyclazar is actually really freaking easy to spot. Instead of the usual like black and green body, he has a he ha, he uh, Cyclozar has like a little a little like nice tan body, with like a like a really bright head and all that stuff. So it, he it, it should it shouldn't be too hard to miss when you're spotting him. Shiny hunting Cyclozar was how do I say it? It sucked. <laughs> Shiny hunting Cyclozar sucked. After I made my first sandwich, not even a single Shiny Cyclozar spawned. So I spent like the first 30 minutes of shiny hunting these dragons was completely wasted looking for this Cyclozar. He just didn't want to show up. He just hid around in the corner and didn't want to show up for me. So I had to go and make another sandwich. So here comes the second sandwich. And how and so we're we're shiny, we're we're running around looking for our, our little Cyclozars and all that stuff. And then halfway through the sandwich. Our shiny, our we, no, what was the thing? Halfway through our sandwich, our first shiny decides to show. I don't want to make a third sandwich just to find a, just to find a Cyclozar, dude. That's too much. There it is. There it is. There he is. Shiny Cyclozar. He's just standing there, menacingly. Don't you run away from me? <laughs> run his eyes. Right as, right as I asked, right as I, right as I said, please give me shiny Cyclozar. It gave me the shiny Cyclozar. Quick ball. Quick ball. Come on, quick ball. Yes. First shiny down. Let's freaking go. That took forever. Cyclozar, you bum. With our first shiny down in our belt. We, we, uh, we have, we can finally start looking for other dragon types. So that is one shiny down and a plethora of shinies left to go. We got our shiny Cyclozar. So the next dragon we're going to go look for is Gibble. And for Gibble, we're going to go down to area zero. Uh, cause in area, area zero, you can, uh, area zero is like the best spot to find Gibbles. If you go down to research station four, it's uh, it's just like it, and you make that shiny sandwich. It's just a bunch of gibbles and dreamy spawning down there, and and uh, and you're, when you're shiny hunting gibble, 
his shiny is super easy to see. Instead of the instead of the usual like blue and red, he's like a he's like a brighter blue with a yellow with like a, a slight yellow body. And I thought it would be I thought it would be a good idea like you know, if I'm shiny hunting Gibble, might as well shiny hunt get bite too and Dreepy while I'm at it because you know they're all down there. And because of the light of the crystals and all that stuff, it, it threw it the the light of the crystals really threw me off when I when I was a. Uh, when I was shiny hunting, cause every cause of the gibbites and the gibbles would spawn next to the crystal, and then the crystals will like make the make the gibbites a bit brighter. So every time I would see that gibbite, I would oh, it's a shiny gibbite right there, and I, I'll go go I'll go for it, and it turns out it wasn't shiny. So it really threw me off. But uh, the rest of halfway of this next sandwich, we didn't get our we didn't uh we didn't get the shiny. So we had to leave Area Zero and make us a third sandwich to go find us our shiny Gibble. With our third dragon sandwich made, we continue our hunt in Area Zero for our shiny Gibbles. And not even like, not even like, um, I think like, I think it was like three minutes. Three minutes, like two or three minutes go by and we get our second shiny. Area Zero, can you please give me shiny? I love shiny Pokemon, and I just want my shiny Dragon type. I even I I I brought out my own little Garchomp too, like you know, to help entice the uh, the Gibbles to show up. Yeah. No. Oh, there it is, shiny Gibble. Oh. No, no, stop, 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 leave me alone, leave me alone. He's right there. He's right there, my boy. My boy's right there, hello? Give me, give me, give me, give me. Let's go, shiny Gibble! Beginning of the third sandwich, too, that is crazy. Quick ball. Can't go wrong with quick ball, come on. It didn't crit, I didn't catch it. Oh no! Oh no! I didn't. I didn't. Did I, did I save for? Did I save for uh, encountering the Gibble? I don't think I did. Oh no! Please, please don't use take down no more. Sandstorm. Oh, okay. You know, Dragon Claw works too, buddy. It's this anything but take down. Ultra Ball. There we go, crit capture. Da -da -da -da. Shiny Gibble, baby. After sh after we got Shiny Gibble, I decided to leave Area Zero and go Shiny Hunt Axe You. Shiny Axe You is pretty easy to see when you're hunting, especially with all the hordes. You'll you'll know when you see your Shiny Axe You. Shiny Axe You, it's like a, it's like a lighter, like it's like kind of like a pale green. It's it's a lighter green than uh, the usual Axe you is, and it has that purple indent on its neck, so it shouldn't so it shouldn't be too hard to miss. While we were shiny hunting our while we were shiny hunting Axe you, something something unexpected happened while we were shiny hunting. I love how at every location you shiny hunt, there's always like that random group. There's a oh shiny Dratini! Oh my god! So while we were shiny, so while I was, so while we were shiny hunting Axew, we got a shiny Dratini instead, which was which was pretty good. That was another shiny off my shiny dragon list that I didn't have to go get, and we still had, and that was like, and that was like halfway through the sandwich. So we had a lot more. We still had a lot more time left to find our shiny Axew, and so we're riding around. We're, we're running around still looking for our shiny. A few minutes go by, and we find us another shiny. Do they, do they really, do they spawn more at nighttime, or am I just going crazy? Another Dratini? Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh. 
That's not what I want anymore, but I'll still take it. That's right, we got us another shiny Dratini, which was very unexpected, but it was also really cool. Like, not even like, th like three minutes after we got one shiny Dratini, we got us another shiny Dratini. Is that on my, what, what's with all the shiny Dratinis today? That was absolutely crazy, but it was also really cool. Well, after that shiny Dratini, we still had some time left, so we could continue looking for our shiny Axew. And as our sandwich was coming to a close, with like about like 15 seconds left, we got our shiny Axew. It's the final countdown. We have one minute left on this sandwich. The final countdown. Let me not sing that. I'll be right. Oh, shiny Axew! Oh, it worked! Oh, that's four! That's four! Oh, oh, oh! Wait, 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 wait! Let's go! In my opinion, Sandwich 3 had to be my best sandwich yet. We didn't get just one, we didn't get just two, but we got four shinies in that one sandwich, which is absolutely insane and also really unexpected. Judging how the be our beginning went and we didn't get a single shiny in our first sandwich to get like four in like one sandwich That is absolutely insane But now that we have Axew, we can go hunt our next shiny, which is Dreepy Shiny hunting Dreepy was fun, but it was also not fun Shiny Dreepy is a ki kind of a pain to shiny hunt Because you really gotta pay attention to the groups of Dragalokes and Dreepy when they're spawning because they like to disappear so you could easily miss your shiny and shiny I mean shiny dreepy it's not the hard to miss instead of like the blue and red he's like a lighter blue and then instead of the red he has some yellow on his ears and while we were shiny hunting our dreepy we got another surprise another surprise shiny for us Oh, there's a, there's a Dragonite flying boat. I didn't. At all of my times playing in Pokemon, I never knew that Dragonite uh, flew above over there. That is cool. The more you know, right? <laughs> oh my God! I knew it. It would happen. It's a. It's another shiny Dratini, man. That's three. <laughs> That's three shiny Dratini. That is right, we got us a third shiny Dratini. I have no idea why Dratinis keep showing up shiny for me, but I'm not complaining. I'm, that's like, that's like three shiny, that's like three shiny Dragonites I have under my belt from this, from these sandwiches. That's, that's, that's just really cool, and but also really unexpected, and I'm like, I mean, hey. A third shiny Dratini, I'll take that. I, that's really freaking cool. After we got our after we got our third shiny Dratini, I wasn't really feeling shiny hunting Dreepy no more. And then it turns out right next to the area we were in, Noiverns and Noibat spawn. So I'm like, you know, it's daytime. So let's well because like I, Dreepy's like to spawn more at nighttime, I think. So I'm like, you know. Let's just go get us a shiny Noibat because it's like it's like right there. It's like right next to the little area we were in. And so we're going so we were going down there to get our shiny uh Noibat. We we're riding around. Shiny Noibat is a really cool shiny. And it's also really it's uh, like it's really easy to like see and not miss. Instead of like the pink and like the purple on it, it's like black and blue. And so it's not that it's not that hard to miss. And so as I was riding around looking for our shiny Noibat, we got us our shiny. After like a few more minutes left in the sandwich, we got us our shiny Noibat. Nine minutes left on the sandwich. Come on. Oh, there it is. Shiny Noibat. Oh my god. He, he's so blue and black. It's oh, that's, that's a cool. That is a really cool shiny. Holy crap. With a few minutes left in our in our uh, sandwich, I decided to go to the little swamp area to try to get us a shiny Gumi. And now shiny Gumi is also a really obvious shiny to see. Instead of like the purple, 
is like a really bright yellow with like a little orange at the bottom. So we were driving around the swamp to find our shiny Gumi, but to, but to our surprise, we didn't get our shiny Gumi in this sandwich, so we had to go and make us another sandwich to keep shiny hunting our Gumi. And so, I think this is like sandwich number five. I lost count at this point. So we make our next sandwich and we keep looking around our little swamp area for our shiny Gumi. And not even like the first like 10 minutes of the sandwich, we get our shiny Gumi. Shiny Dream, Shiny Gooby! I almost said Shiny Dream P. Shiny Gooby! Okay, okay, we have, that's good, that's good. We saw, we still have a lot of time on the sandwich too. Let's go! After we got our Shiny, uh, after we got our Shiny Gumi, I was feeling a bit lucky, so I decided to go back to get my Shiny Dreepy. And it was perfect because it was nighttime too. And I, and I think Dragapult's like the spawn more at nighttime. So I, I went back to my little area to find us our shiny Dreepy. And then and like a, a few minutes later, as we're, we're, we're running back, we're despawning them, we're spawning them, we're, re we're despawning them and spawning them. Uh, we, uh, turns out, I, I was like, so, <laughs> the funny thing is, just, 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 watch, just watch the clip, you'll see what I mean, just watch the clip. Seventeen minutes left on this sandwich, and still no shiny Dreepy or Dragalope. Oh wait, no, it's right there. Wait, oh wait. <laughs> As I said, <laughs> oh, oh, never mind. I'll, I mean, that's I'm okay with that. I wasn't paying attention <laughs> while killing the Dreepies. I did not see the shiny Dreepy over there until I look closely at my screen. I was about to, I was about to walk away and despawn him, and that would've cost me my shiny Dreepy. And so, now that we got our shiny Dreepy, we have, we decide to go shiny hunt Altaria and get us our next shiny dragon. Shiny Altaria was a pain. Now, if I had to compare shiny hunting Cyclazar with Altaria, Altaria would be like right there in like second place right behind Cyclozar. Altaria, what, it, it, like, it sucked. But it was worth it. Shiny Altaria, uh, the shiny, shiny Altaria, it's not that hard to miss. Instead of the blue on Altaria, the blue is yellow now. So it's a yellow bird with like the fluffy clouds and all that stuff. And I had to make a new sandwich because I didn't get the... I didn't, I didn't get it in the other sandwich, so I had to make a whole new sandwich, the Shiny Hunt Altaria. And Altaria took forever. And like, and like towards like the five minute mark of that sandwich, we finally get our Shiny. Oh my god, there it is! Shiny Altaria! <laughs> Ah, oh, that took forever! The sandwich is almost over. Why do you show up now of all times, dude? Oh man, that Jesus Christ, lady. Well, dude. No, not a timer ball, I meant to do quick ball, oh no. Now that we have our shiny Altaria, we have four more dragons that we need to go catch. And with four more minutes left on this sandwich. It is time for us to go up to the snowy mountains to find us our next shiny Frigibax. When shiny hunting Frigibax, you gotta be gotta look extremely close at every single Frigibax you see. Cause you will miss this shiny. Shiny Frigibax is like instead of the like it's like normal Frigibax, but the little tassels on his arm. It's it's like a pink instead of a yellow. And then, you see, instead of like the little dorsal fin on his back, it's like a really light blue. 
and with four minutes left looking for our, our to get with four minutes left on this sandwich to get shiny Frigga bags, we got a, another surprise that happened to us, and it was completely unexpected too, and it was absolutely crazy. Ah, uh, there, there's so many Frigga bags, so this makes it. This is gonna be an e. This is gonna be a really easy hunt, cause they're everywhere. <laughs> They're just spawning everywhere, and I love it. How do we have left? Four minutes. Yeah. We could probably find one. So, is that a shiny Hariyama? That's a shiny Hariyama. <laughs> That's not even what I'm looking for. For some odd reason, for no reason in general, a shiny Hariyama decided to spawn at the edge of the mountain top right there. And it was just surprising. It, it just spawned. It was just a big pink Pokemon. But wait a second. That's a shiny Hariyama. And that was like towards the end of the sandwich. So we had to go make us another sandwich for, to get our shiny Frigga backs. And this is like sandwich number seven? Seven or eight. And so we we made a lot of sandwiches in this uh in this uh shiny hunting all these dragons and all that stuff. And so we're shiny hunting frigid baxes. We're killing frigid baxes left and right. We're uh, we're killing them and then and then like halfway through the sandwich we get our shiny frigid bax. Wait a second, is that it right there? There it is! Oh, hi! Hey, buddy! How are you doing today? Ah, oh, it's so cute! I'm sorry for I said anything. I'm sorry I said you look like Play-Doh. <laughs> I'm sorry I said you look like Play-Doh. After we got our shiny frigid backs, and with three more dragon types to go, we make our way to Castle Royal Lake to shiny hunt us a Tatsugiri. Now, shiny- now, Tatsugiri, now, what was I gonna? <laughs> I forgot what I was gonna say. Now, Tatsugiri, there's, there's a lot you look out for. There's three forms of Tatsugiri, which means there's three different shinies that you have to find. The orange, I, I know there's like there's like the stretchy form, and I do, I know what the, I know what, I know they're called like different things, but I don't remember them. I only know by their color. Orange, the orange Tatsugiri, uh, it, it's shiny is white. Uh, the yellow Tatsugiri, it's shiny is, uh, I think it's, uh, I think it's shiny, it's the orange with the little black on it, and then the pink, no, 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 the yellow shiny is the orange with the yellow stripes, the pink, the pink Tatsugiri shiny is the orange with, like, the black on its back, so we were, we, we, we spent a good bit in Castle Royal Lake fighting our shiny Tatsugiri, we, uh, we didn't get it, we didn't get it in this sandwich, the same sandwich as we had the Frigga backs. So we had to make another sandwich to get our shiny Tatsugiri. And this is like sandwich number nine. The amount of Herba Mysticas I waste, I used to get these shinies is absolutely crazy. And like, towards like the, like, I think, it, I th towards like the halfway mark of our, of our sandwich, we get our shiny Tatsugiri. Oh wait a second! Is that shiny? Wait! It is! It's the yellow striped one! Let's go! Shiny Tatsugiri, hell yeah! Now that we got our shiny Tatsugiri, it is time to put things in overdrive. We got two more shinies remaining. We have shiny Bagon and we have shiny Applin. And we can they're both spawn they're both around the same area. So with half a sandwich left. We go down to the rocky, the rocky, like the little rocky land where you find all like the earthworms and the carcoles. Go over there to shiny hunt our shiny Bagon. Now, Bagon shiny is pretty easy to see. Instead of the blue Bagon, you get you a like a really bright green Bagon. And so we we spend we spend our the last bit of our sandwich to find our shiny Bagon. But to our surprise, we didn't get our shiny Bagon. So we had to make another sandwich, another sandwich, <laughs> to get our shiny Bagon. This is like sandwich number 10, mind you. And 
and as like like the first five minutes of this sandwich, we get our shiny lime green bagon. Oh wait a second! There it is! Oh my god! It's a green bagon! Don't you run away! He's oh, let's go! Green bagon! That didn't take long at all. Now that we now that we had now that we got our shiny bag on, we had one more shiny to grab, and that is Applin. And this little rock area is right next to the uh, uh, Tanglewood Thicket, and Applin spawned in trees. And I didn't know where to find shiny Applin, so I had to ride the look up where to well, where's a what's a good place to find sh shiny Applin. And it turns out there's a there's a little uh, there's a little glitch in the Tanglewood Thicket. That'll help you get your shiny applin. So you, ha you gotta go to you gotta go to like the certain tree. You need you need your uh, you need your other uh, you need your you know, your other legendary that you catch down area zero. You need your other legendary for this to work. You uh you you go to the certain two trees. You ram your Coridon or Coridon or Maridon into the tree, and then you send out your other Coridon or Maridon and by that tree, and it will just stand there. Killing the applins, and I guess the uh, the glitch constantly makes the applins fall into the tree, and it just keeps and it, like, it keeps going until your uh, legendary doesn't hit it, cause you get your finally get your shiny applin. Not even a few minutes after we got big on, we get our nice lime green Granny Smith apple applin. Wait a second! Look, it's green. That didn't take long at all. No, Mariah, knock it down. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, is that is that really was that really that was that really it? Wait, that didn't take long at all. Holy crap! Getting shiny Applin was like a surprise for me. Throughout the entire like throughout my entire shiny hunting, I was talking to myself like you know, shiny Applin is gonna be a pain to find. Cause like there's like no good spot to find a shiny Applin, just for it to spawn like five like like three minutes like two to three more minutes later. By the way, not even like not even like a minute later after I got shiny big on and I go to that tree, we get our shiny Applin like like instantly, and that was absolutely crazy. All right, let's look at the boxes. We got Cyclazar. We got Gibble. We got Dratini, we got Axew, we got Noibat, we got Gumi, we got Dreepy, we got Altaria, we got Frigibax, we got Tatsugiri, we got Bagon, and we got Applid. And we got a shiny Hariyama as a nice little bonus with our extra little Dratinis too, but hey, I will take that. That is... That is every single shiny, that's every single dragon type shiny. Um, I'll evolve them later on. And I, I, this, 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 all the, all this shiny hunt for uh, every single dragon type took forever, by the way. <laughs> the amount of sandwiches I made, the amount of sandwiches I made to get these Pokemon, oh my god. And then the last sandwich. The, uh, Bagon and Apple were so nice, they just spawned like instantly, and I got my shiny Pokemon. So, that is, am <laughs> that is amazing. I really love these emotes. Um, but yeah, that is every single dragon type shiny Pokemon. Wait, that is, that is every single shiny dragon type in the game. I know there's a uh, Hydreigon and Roaring Moon and Scarlet. I don't have Scarlet. I am a Violet player, but if y'all want to see me go shiny hunt them some other time, I'll go shiny hunt them. I'll just, I'll just need to go get Scarlet. Uh, if y'all want to see me shiny hunt another type, like fire type, ghost type, ground type, just let me know down below. If y'all enjoyed today's video, leave a like, and I will see y'all whenever I see y'all. Peace out.